In a time and place before recorded history, man and God coexisted. The more enlightened of men were allowed to traverse the astral plane to enter God's holy realm and seek out his advice. In time, the desonants, the den denizens, the denizens of the underworld grew resentful of the presence of mortals in the astral plane. Definitely, the grand demon Tasriel forged an evil weapon of ultimate destructive power. With this chaos axe, he rose up to the challenge, rose up to challenge God himself. The ensuing battle between the two threatened to shred the very fabric of his existence. Though he prevailed, God was brought to the brink of death, unable to destroy the Chaos Axe. He hid it, he hid it from Tazriel by casting the axe into the realm of humans in order to prevent the demon from ever recovering his evil weapon. God forever shut off the astral plane to the world of men. Four seals were created and placed in the human realm. They could never be opened from the astral plane nor would any being ever be able to pass between the two realities as long as even a single seal remained in place. However, these are only legends, tales half forgotten by most. The seals themselves have never been seen by any person alive, and most people pay no mind to the tale. After all, the world has known thousands of years of uninterrupted peace, that is, until he appeared. Doubtless, there, there were those among us who believed that he was indeed descended from Tazriel himself. But the thousands that he killed, who locked eyes with him in the final and agonizing moments, knew that he was a man, and in that instant lost all faith in humanity. The Dark Knight ravaged the land and terrorized the populace like nothing else in recorded history. Any village that he visited faced certain annihilation. Most men never heard the mournful wails of the women, for they had already been slaughtered like pigs, their entrails littering the ground like a pit of bloody vipers. Through sheer force and intimidation, he ri raised an army powerful enough to challenge that of Imperial Camellia, fueled by the successes. His lust for power exploded! Ten years ago, Galvis marched on Camellia. Camellia Castle itself determined to annihilate King Jarek and his Imperial Army, the coordinate himself, supreme ruler of the planet. Welcome to Evil Quest! This game sounds awesome! Anyways, let's check out the thing. Okay, well, you know what? I will, yes, okay, that's fine. I'm fine with all of this. New game, I am, jeez, I am excited already. Welcome to Indie Gameplay, I'm Adam Aguilar, this is Evil Quest. Chaos Soft Games presents Evil Quest. Holy crap, I did not expect this to be this cool already. All right, so since this is an RPG, I gotta give uh, voices for everyone. So Galvis, I will be giving my own voice, and then whoever else, I will be giving different voices. So. Let's start with the indie gameplay. Here we go. Tarkin! King Jarek's lackeys will not be attacking from two directions. Will be attacking. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Let's go home. They'll be attacking from two directions. East and north. Take half of the men and head north. It's up to you to keep us from being surrounded. As you command, master. Get moving! I can see them approaching from this direction. The Northern Battalion will not be far behind! 
What are you incompetent fools waiting for? Follow me! Let's go, you cretins! Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, get you. Yeah, get you. Yeah, get, get him, Galvis. Yeah. All right, soldiers. From here, we head east. Well, General, the Camellia army will be approaching from the west. We should stand ground here and protect the flank. To hell with Galvis! I'm in charge now, and I say we head east. Think about how he treats us. Things will be much easier with me as your supreme commander. Well, he did murder my wife and children. Of course he did! He's an abomination! That we should not allow the chameleons to rid him. That we should allow the chameleons to rid us of. Come on. I know of a nearby village where we can really have some fun. Death to Galvis! Death to the bastard! That's the spirit! Let's go then! Why would you say that? You should say let's go, you're a commander. Pathetic. This is a This is a disaster. Now we have to rely on track and tune. By order of the King Jerick, the Benevolent, you are hereby arrested for crime against humanity. Will you come peacefully? Tarkin, he failed. But how did so many of you remain alive? He would have at least killed most of your men. We didn't see anyone on our way here. Now I ask you again, villain, will you come peacefully? Betrayed you, my lord. Tell your king. I'll see him in hell! With the betrayal of General Tarkin, Galvis's army was routed, beaten, and humiliated. The evil king was finally captured. As a false show of benevolence, the king of Camellia declared that Galvis was insane and should be spared execution. He was sentenced to life in prison. Shortly after his imprisonment, Galvis discovered a kind-spirited and old thief who hated the world as much as he did. Galvis! I know that you want to destroy the world, but you can't do it through brute force alone. You need a better plan. I'm listening, but make it quick, old man. I tire of your senseless banter. Years ago, I was looting a pyramid in the southern desert. I snuck past a sleepy Medusa and entered a room, and it was one of the seals. You actually saw one of the seals? Then the legend must be true. If I can open the seals and unleash the power of the Chaos Axe. Yes, with the axe, not even God himself could stop you. Your path of destruction would reach from here across the entire astral plains. Then I will have vengeance against all who wronged me. King Jarek, Tarkin, even God. They will all die, and I will crush this miserable world. Can I, like, play the game yet? Good morning, Captain! Did you hear that the rookie is scheduled to eat ca gavels? Galvis today? Yes, Elric. Poor guy. It's his first time, too. Did you know that the bastard slaughtered his family? He was just a child at the time, and I saw the entire thing. Yes. Oh, here he comes. We, we shouldn't say anything. Who 
Who is that? Oh, no. I'm dumb. Hi, Alric. How you doing? I'm fine, sir. That's good to hear, Alric. Well, I, I guess you've heard by now. Heard what, sir? Well, you're scheduled to feed him today. Him? Yes, him. Galvis. The one they call the bastard, the guy who slaughtered your whole family. Franklin! Get the hell out of here if, I, if you can't control yourself! Mm, yeah, mm. Stutter, man. Sorry, Captain! Sorry, Elric! Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Okay, Elric. You heard the idiot. Get going. And whatever you do, don't talk to the prisoner. No matter what he says, ignore it. Yes, it's Captain. Oh, man, I gotta go feed him. This is terrible. This is what I've been waiting for. I can finally take my revenge on this bastard! That's a big foot. Prisoner! I am here to deliver your daily meal! Come closer, you little stain. You look very familiar. Did I kill someone close to you? I... Uh, I remember your face now. You were just a child at the time. Oh, how your tears made me laugh. Look at you now, such a big man. Did you come here to kill me? You're totally unarmed and there's no one here to stop me. Everyone would call me a hero. Well, Elric, step here and do it. If you can stand the smell, I'm sick of waiting away in this rat-infested hellhole. Come on, hero! Do it! You asked for it, bastard! You... You... Or... Did you get that? It's a shank, you intepid fool. I've been carving it for years now, and it's finally tasted blood. Tell me, Elric. Is this how you saw your revenge playing out today? You know, Elric, I'm feeling generous today. If you tell me where my things are, I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. Otherwise, you can slowly bleed out here, in agony. What? Thanks. The Charge Orb! The Dark Axe! And my Iron Armor! Where are they? The Charge Orb! Upstairs in the room, crawling with rats. I heard the Dark Axe fell in the sewer. Your Iron Armor is a trophy. We keep it in the mess hall. Interesting. Elric, thank you for coming here to kill me today. I knew I kept you alive for a reason. However, I've changed my mind. I'm going to leave you here to suffer. But don't worry, the rats are hungry. Though they will eagerly keep you company in your final hours. Welcome to Evil Quest after 14 minutes or so. <laughs> Here are a few tips. Press A Press A to attack, right? Right now all you have is puny shank and find until you find Galvis's dark axe and you'll be unstoppable. This is a safe point where you can step into one, press back button to open up the main menu. All right, well, let's uh, go save. Nice. Bull crap, I've been playing for 2 seconds. Rats! Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Let me open this guy. Dalvis, my boy, you're free! Just like we planned. Yes, and now we can get out of here together. <coughs> yes. <coughs> Last. But first, now. But first, now that I can see your hands, teach me the ice spell you've spoken of so highly of. I know you're too weak to actually use it, but... If you show me how, it will make our escape a lot all the easier. Of course, my boy. Here it is, just like this. You learn spell ice one at last. Now, there's just one last thing. What is it, son? Tell me what that troubles you. Oh, nothing. It's just... <gasps> Dalvis! Why? 
It's simple, you ancient buffoon. Your snoring and horrendous smell have kept me awake countless nights. I can't bear the thought of spending any more time near you. Galvis, proud of you. Goodbye. Press X to equip. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna shank this bat. Shank. So far, this game is pretty freaking awesome, I must say. Oh, you can use the right trigger to also do that. But this game is a lot cooler than I could ever anticipate to hope for. Like, I am having tons of funs on the buns to... What's that? Oh, that's just help. Tons of funds on the buns. I wonder what's up here. You know what? Let's continue looking on prison floor one because we're not entirely sure what to expect from prison floor one. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to need quite an amount of gold and uh, just, you know, need something from here. I'm not sure what it's going to be. That's a dog. Cool. Is there any uh, level ups? in here or is it all just like grab gold and stuff wow that was hmm that was pretty cool oh look a little uh hey level up I was right um let's see tax dealt increase less damage increase or right, withstand damage increase okay I think I will add, oh, two points. Yeah. You know what? There we go. I wonder where it tells me my, oh, my experience is right there. Okay. So, yeah, I can go ahead and grind up if I really wanted to and just, like, you know, just grind up. But I don't think I will. Like, although it would be nice and probably beneficial to me... I know that on indie gameplay, it's not the most wanted thing to watch grinding. However, I will go ahead and kill a bunch of things just for the sake of killing things. Oop, well, okay. Gotta kill that. Oh, wow. Okay. So, guards take a bit of damage, and they deal a bit of damage, too. Two seconds? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, so. Can I skip this? Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and do all that. And when I release, or when I get to level 2, then I need to save again. But I'm glad there aren't like specific spots for everything. It's like all randomly generated for the most part. Which I could not be happier for. Do I regenerate health? I mean, it looks like it. I'm not sure if I do. I keep forgetting I have a health bar and magic bar up there. Because it's just like so out of the way. I don't know. That's just me. So. Alright. But I, I guess saving is so super freaking important how much aid experience right now huh all right it's nice to know that uh i wish there was a way to uh see how much experience you get from killing enemies but it looks like i just need to kill about 15 so and i mean that's not too difficult either so i'm not really complaining too much but I do wish that there was something so that I wouldn't have to press the start button over and over again just to check out, like, what I'm actually doing. Okay. There we go. Now that I'm level two. Nice. I'm going to go save again. All right. And... I think next time on the indie gameplay of Evil Quest.
we are just going to continue on and see where it goes from here, alright? So see you guys next time. Bye-bye.